um, I'm so glad to see so many people here. And my name is Ruth Bia Senor, Chiricahua Apache, Mexican. And I am a former chairperson of Bates. And we have two of our chair people here today. I'd like you guys to stand up. Roger and Amelia, please. <laughs> dedicated people who have worked so hard for numerous years and Nico Thomas Lander <laughs> amazing person who's been participating how do you say your last name? Stel Tedeskis. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I am honored that the GLBT Historical Society said yes to actually you, using this month as an opportunity for us to have um, Two Spirit Native American Heritage Month. It's never been done here, so thank you again. <laughs> traditions are, so I'm very excited about that. And I wanted to go around, I wanted to first introduce um, our drum keeper, uh, Phoenix Laura. Hi. I'm Phoenix, I'm Yaki, uh, from the Texas band of the Yakis. And um, we had, we were very honored to have this drum made for us. It's a two-spirit drum, it was made in 2010. And so uh, it was very unusual. In fact, it was unheard of to hear have two spirits have their own drum, especially here in the West Coast. So this is like, like we have broken ground by having our own drum. And so part of that has been, uh, you know, to have a teacher the songs and stuff like that, and everything is learning. We've been reclaiming our traditions. We hold drum circles every month. You know, we drum <coughs> at the Bates Powwow every year. Uh, we drum uh, for many events all over the Bay Area, and uh, so it's it's a it's an opportunity for two spirits, the families, the allies to come sing with us, you know, to be part of the circle and to reclaim the traditions, and we can also have an opportunity to create new traditions as well. So uh, we've been together now for eight years, you know. So that's that's a it's a big thing for our, our, our drum. And, and I'm very happy that, that we're able to have this because many in, in many of uh, the drum communities, especially the men's drums community, women are not allowed to the drum. <laughs> I know when I started singing way back in the day, um, it was very hard to find a drum to sit with and sing, you know, and, and so, and, and I know I, there was another drum I, I sing with called Sweet Medicine, and it's an all native women's drum, and it's, we used to ask to see who could drum at the powwows. And a lot of times we were told, no, not to come because we're women strong, you know? So we have come a long way as a community. You know, now we're finally being accepted in the powwow community. You know, it took many years for us to reach that milestone. So uh, finally doors are, are, are opening for us. We're finally being included as part of the circle and recognized by the greater uh, Native community. You know, it took many years for us to bridge that, and Bates did, did a lot of work to make that happen. You know, so this is a historical thing for us, and this is a historical day for us to have a celebration here at the game as the historical site. <laughs> participate in our powwow, they are involved in many different aspects, but I just do want to acknowledge that the board is small and an amazing core of people who have worked so hard for a long time to make sure that, that, that this continues. And I want to introduce one of the filmmakers tonight, Susanna. Of, of African, Spanish, and Indigenous 
heritage, so I don't know exactly where my tribe lands, but it's a small country, so I claim them all. <laughs> and this is really my way of connecting with my indigenous roots. Uh, we all have indigenous roots, we all have ancestral land. Um, so that's what the film is about. So thank you for coming. And also, please have a short it, it was it was a long time ago. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just like I would call it a a, a draft. <laughs> it was just like uh, way back in the day. Uh, so it's just a little digital film. So you know, it's just a, a way to kind of like try to tell a story, but learning how to tell a story. That was so <laughs> Yeah, hi, my name is Amelia. Um, I just wanted to say I wanted to acknowledge the land we were on. We're on the land of the Um and it's important for us to recognize that we are an occupied territory and that these are not our tribal homelands, at least not mine. Um, and so I, I think it's important for us to take a moment to recognize um, the Pialoni people who are here today. They recently had their uh, big time, which is the Pialoni version of the Pala a couple of weekends ago. Um, and uh, take a moment to just uh, honor them and respect their land. Thank you. These two movies and then share two songs and then we'll be open for Q&A. But I do want to mention that many people, when they think of powwows or they think of natives and their ceremony or their um, festivals or big times, there's so many terms for different things that different tribes do. They think, oh, it's just a drum. That's, it's always going to be a drum. And that's not necessarily true. Um, Miko has brought his shakers with him for a, a wonderful dance that happens um, called the Stomp Dance. It's Chickasaw. Yes, Chickasaw. And so after we have done Q&A, I, I hope that you all stay and get to see that because it's a pretty amazing dance. And just to see um, another way, another type of maybe, in a sense, an instrument that people use so that we can you know, practice our traditional ways. Chiricahua Apache and Mexican. Actually, when I was young, my family really felt maybe even a bit ashamed about having indigenous blood. I wasn't knowing who I truly was, and so I started to, you know, try to reconnect with my ancestors. But as a gay person, I did have a lot of fear. I could share one side about being indigenous, but could I share the other part about being a gay indigenous person, and I found out about Bates. My name is uh, Phoenix Lard, um, Yaki, from uh, Texas Band of Yaki's. 2010, Bates had drum me, so they approached me and asked me how I would teach them the songs. Many two spirit people, as well as women, they don't get to sit at most traditional drums. We had a young man who was part of Bates. He was Mohawk, Chakrabawasi, and he contacted a drum maker. He said we could get a moose high drum. The drum is made of moose, and it's also made of maple wood. Um, it's made just for the two-spirit community. Many two-spirit people decided, well, we need to start our own drum group. We need to teach ourselves these songs. We need to teach ourselves ceremony because no one was going to do that for us. <coughs> so that's how it first started. I thought a lot about the fact that the drum is a different indigenous tradition than mine. My ancestors are guiding me to different indigenous medicine on this land. I have been displaced from my ancestral land in El Salvador, and this drum medicine has come to me. We all get to connect on a level that is indigenous. So we burn the sage, we burn the cedar, we pray with the cordial. 
and the corn is, is something that connects us. This, the burning of the plant, the drumbeat, is something that connects us. We are creating new ways of praying with each other because we're all here together. And a lot of us were not taught our ancestral traditions. So we are praying with the medicine that comes to us on this land and connecting to that indigenous medicine inside of all of us. We're all connected. So we bring those traditions to our healing. Whatever trauma our community, our families have experienced because of attempted genocide. So even if you don't know any of your trauma, your ancestors are listening to you and they're reminding you to be proud of being indigenous. It is a big commitment. You are very conscious on a daily basis that that drum is near you. It's, it's like having a family member. It's like caretaking a family member, having respect for that family member. That's the beauty of having survived attempted genocide, is that no matter what I saw in our traditions, are still alive. And it's too spiritual to be in those traditions. We're bringing them back and we're building new traditions. So to have our two-spirit drum, that is just saying, you know what? You weren't able to kill the Indian in us. The Indian is still alive. And the Indian knows the songs. So all those attempts were made to kill us did not work. So when we go out and we sing the songs, our young people, our elders, they can see that we're doing this for you. We're singing for you. We're singing for our community. We're singing for the generations to come. We're healing a part of ourselves. And that's the reason I hope that the Bates Drum can really continue and bring more people in, more youth especially, so that we can continue to carry on these traditions. <laughs> Still, I was in the closet. 
It took a few years for me to come out to my drum sisters. But when my drum sister came out, that opened the door for me to say who I am. As a family, we laugh, we cry, we held each other, and we honored each song that we sang. We met every week, and I saw each of us blossom. The heartbeat of drums keep going as we sing and become keepers of the song for our elders ancestors and generations to come. Now I am happy to sing and teach the song to our two-spirit community. Additional ways to honor and praise the drum. And oh yeah, how to hold the drum stick.
Sports Band of Cookie and Dance. I have been uh, with Bates for six years now. Uh, when I first moved out to San Francisco, Nico was the first that I reached out to and uh, welcomed me into the Bates community. We had met at a different uh, uh, spirit gathering. Um, so I then joined the Powwow Committee and shortly after joined the board. And for the past three years, I've been serving as the chair of the board. It's been a true joy, a lot of work, um, and uh, I'm in the midst of uh, completing my PhD um, on what I call a Nokichita Two Spirit Love. Um, so I look forward to the book being released at some point. And so I'm deciding to um, create some space in my life, and I have uh, uh, told the board that I would like to step down as the chair. Um, and Amelia has graciously um, risen to the new chair. And so tonight, November 1st, marks the transition of uh, my work as the chair uh, to Amelia as the chair, and I will serve as co chair. <laughs> Other, and that means non 